Hello, my name is Hunter Bridwell and I'm a digital media developer here at Grand Valley State University. And today I'd like to show you Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a great tool to create introductions, short form essays, and asynchronous discussions. Um, essentially what it is is creating with an instructor and students a string of short form discussion videos. So I'll get started here. First things first, the instructor will need to create a account. Uh, the nice thing though is that students won't have to create an account uh, to add to the discussion. I've already created one. I'll click teacher login. And as you can see, my info is already in there. I'll say login. So there are two parts of this. One is the grid and think of a grid as a class and one is a topic and think of a topic as a particular lesson or some part of the timeline of a class. Now the thing about the free version of Flipgrid is it only allows for one grid but it does allow for unlimited topics so if you're creative you can kind of make this work for you if you have multiple classes. Uh, also within the free version when students create videos, uh, they only have either a 15 second or 90 second window to do so. Uh, it will, if the paid version will allow longer um, form videos, but this one won't. So to get started creating a topic, I'll click on introductions here, which is the grid that I made, and I'll say new topic. So here we'll add a topic title examples and as I stated before video response time we have 15 seconds and a minute and 30 so I'm gonna say a minute and 30 and here is the topic description this is a great place to put the requirements for your video uh, it's nice to have it in written form I'll also show you that it suggests that you create a video yourself as an introduction you get three minutes for that video um, a full minute and a half longer than a student will but uh, I think having both is incredibly important both for a multimodal idea as well as just having that there to reference when uh, a student is creating their own uh, video on Flipgrid so I'll just give a say give examples please. So I'm going to click on record video here uh, and here I am. So as it's, you see here it says I have three minutes to record. I may pause and resume at any time so long as I don't reach my limit. So I'm going to say record. It'll give me the countdown. Hi, please give an example of your work. So I'll say pause and next. Then it lets me review it. If I don't like it, I can trash it. I like it. So I'll say next. And then it wants me to add a thumbnail. It won't pull a thumbnail from the video. I have to add one. So I'll make a face. And it allows me to add little stickers and things like that if I want. I'll put an octopus on my head. Give me a little hair. And we'll say next. So I will then uh, review this. It has different rules that you can apply or take off. Some are only available in the paid version of Flipgrid, but I like what I see. So I am going to say create topic. Now this URL here on top is the grid URL what I just created was the topic. This is the direct link to the new topic URL. This URL is what you're going to want to give students or what students will use to uh, go to this particular string of videos. So I'm, I'm actually going to click that right now and add that to show you in a second. So I'm going to say I got it. This is what it looks like on, uh, on an instructor end. And so uh, Pretty much you'll be able to see once videos start coming in, you'll be able to view them here. Now, from a student's perspective of Flipgrid, they will see this. Here they can review the introduction video.
and then create their own. Creating their own is very similar to an instructor's view, but all they have to do is press the plus sign and begin recording. So it'll count down again. Here is my work example. Thank you. Say pause. We'll move through this again. Notice it looks very similar to the instructor side. Say next and add one more um, thumbnail. I won't add a sticky this time. And they have to give their names, but they don't have to give anything else. They can if they want. You can submit a video, and now you can see it added it here. And once this fills out, it will look far more substantial. Uh, I can show you very briefly what that looks like from an instructor end you'll start to see these come through. And from a student side, it will look like this. So that's Flipgrid. It's fairly easy to use. It's hard to break. Um, we haven't had any issue with it in the past. Hopefully it continues to be that way. It's a great tool for those short responses and kind of longer asynchronous discussions. Thank you very much.